it, to be honest, it's all about stages of your career. I.e., when I was fighting Klitschko at that stage, he was the best of my career. It's, I'm quite experienced now, um, but he's good. Let's let's give credit where credit's due. You know, in boxing, we do have big egos, and we we try to suppress people, but we let's lift him up and say he is good. He's won the Olympics. He's won the world championships as an amateur. He's done the undisputed thing. So his accolades would say he is um, one of one of the best fighters that I'm fighting in my career so far. If I lose, I'm fighting Usyk again. The undisputed gets put on hold. If I win, I'll fight either one of them. If Fury wins, I'll fight Fury. If Wilder wins, I'll fight Wilder. If Fury wins and doesn't take the fight with me because on his hit list, he said that he wants to fight, um, I think he said he wants to fight Dylan first or Chisora first or something like that. Then I'll fight Wilder. Honestly, uh, Dan, there's no problem with uh, challenging any fighter in the heavyweight division. It doesn't always mean that they have to have a belt either. If they're a good opponent and they're going to give me a good challenge, and each fighter has to motivate you. They have to make you want to get better during training camp. So either one of those guys are good fighters, both been champions. Uh, Fury's going to make his first title defense in two weeks. Wilder has actually defended the belt a few times for there. Both good fighters, both 50-50 in terms of where they are in their careers. And I'll fight any of them anytime, win, lose or draw in two weeks for them. Any one of them that's ready, I'll fight anyone. People ask me like, you know, you, you're fighting really good fighters, your resume is good. Let's give credit to Alexander Usyk as well because I wouldn't want to be in the ring with me. If I was Alexander Usyk, I'd be looking across the ring. I, I swear to God, I don't, wouldn't want to be in the ring with someone like me. Um, I'm very competitive and um, good luck to him Saturday. I'm not actually too bothered. <laughs> but look, look, because you've asked the question, let's go with Wilder because he seems obsessed. He seems like he really wants it. That clip was before Anthony Joshua lost. And one of the reasons why I played it is to show you the mentality and to show you the reason why people actually like Anthony Joshua so much. If most people in boxing had that attitude, can you imagine the kind of fights that we would see? Never shied away from any competition. Never shied away from any challenge. Always willing to accept and always ready to fight the best. You know, regardless of where people believe his skill set is. He's always willing to put himself out there to be in those positions. And he does put himself out there. A lot of people say, you know, he got to stop doing the Apollo Creed coming to America then losing fights kind of thing. Well, he put himself out there for that to be done to him. Yes, he could fail catastrophically. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when he does win, that's why he win as big as he does. You know, because of that kind of mentality. You know, and he said straight up, plain as day. You know, if I lose, I'll fight him again. Like no, Like no big deal. You know, and then if I beat them and if who's ever the winner of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, I'll fight them. If Tyson don't want to fight me, I'll go fight Deontay Wilder and they don't need a belt. I'll be damned, man. It's amazing how that kind of attitude gets treated in today's boxing world. But those are just few of the reasons why people actually latch on to Anthony Joshua, the mentality and the character of him. Now. Are there some other kinks and flaws that he need ironing out? Of course, he's not complete. You know, he's a work in progress. But the point is not daring um, to be great is the problem of a lot of people. And he's willing to take that risk. You know what I'm saying? He's willing to lose it all and win it all. And at the end of the day, that's the mentality that we want to see in boxing. It's a fighter's mentality. It's a fighter's outlook. Is he put together 100% mentally? No, he has holes just like anybody else. But it's how you respond to tragedy. It's how you're really judged. Bruce Vane, I'm out.